Welcome to Peden Stadium, Athens, Ohio, home to the Bobcats of Ohio U. We're looking forward to a full house and a terrific game in this one. Today, an intra-conference battle between a couple of MAC rivals. As we'll see, the Buffalo Bulls taking on the Ohio Bobcats. 48 Sports College Football by Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. And the Bobcats will get us underway with the opening kickoff. Let's see what he can get done from inside his own 15. And he's able to pick his way through the traffic nicely for a good return on that one before he's brought down. So the Buffalo Bulls offense will get the first swing of the game. When your quarterback takes the field, you want him to look just like this guy, exuding confidence. Yeah, the it factor. He's the man. Nobody questions it. Everybody on this team knows they've got his back, and he's the leader. Everybody in this stadium also knows the offense goes as this guy goes. He has got to play well today. Now they'll try the right side. To the 43-yard line and a first down for this offense. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Complete with conviction on the crosser. And they picked up nine on first down. It'll bring up second and short. The inside handoff. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. And the Bulls are moving quickly down the field. The give out of the gun. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. After the good pickup on first down, let's see if they keep it on the ground. Off the bootleg, wants to throw it. Forced out of the pocket. The quarterback scrambled around with the defense, able to scramble him and turn it into a sack. And that is priority number one for defenses. Get to the quarterback, affect him, hit, get hits on him. They do it right here. Get their first sack of the game. Last game, by the way, last time out, they had five. Let's see what this defense can continue to do. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. He's going to run it. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. The Bulls come to the line with a fresh set of downs. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. He works his way down to the 30-yard line before he stopped a gain of three. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Back to pass, it's Agbana. Buys a little time with his feet. He is brought down, but man, what a job to find some running room and move the chains. And that's a first down for the offense. Holds and fires complete to the right. Got enough space. Touchdown, Bulls. What a grab and go for the score. You love as a head coach to watch your offense take the field and establish a rhythm and consistency the way they did there. Everything they dialed up was working to perfection. They go 10 plays on the opening drive and cap it off with a touchdown. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. They put together a 74-yard touchdown drive, and they close the deal with a 20-yard pass for six. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Bobcats offense headed onto the field. Our first look at them today. 
As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, then they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt, they got to show up. These are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football game. Great job by the quarterback there. He saw the safety fight on the run fake. So as the safety comes running downhill, he now knows he has the slant throw to his receiver on the outside. After that big gainer to open things up, they'll put it in play from the 40. He'll pull it on the read. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. It'll be a draw. And he won't quite get there. But boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first. An array of possibilities here. On third and short, they'll try to pick it up with the pass. Fires to the wideout. Pulls it in. At the 20, he's got space. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. After that huge play right back at him on first and 10 from inside the 15, they move the tight end all over. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Got some work to do after that last play, second and 13. Using his legs, it's Hunt. Pulled down after a pickup of three balls at the 13. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. On third and long, he has to throw for it. And the rush will get to him at the 25. Man, that's just kind of frustrating for an offense. You move the ball all the way down the field. You got an opportunity on third down, and you can't protect your quarterback. You get the sack. And now it's probably field goal time if you make a field goal. Now on fourth down, they'll try to come away with three. He'll try to put one down the boulevard from 42 yards out. And the kicker delivers the three to salvage that drive. And three more on the board, and this kicker is starting to get a reputation starting off the season. Hasn't missed yet. Nice to have a guy that you can really, really depend on. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive, and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. From inside the 15, here's the return. Needed just a little more help to turn that into a big return. They'll mark him down at the 29. The Buffalo offense headed back to the field. Makes the quick grab. And a pickup of eight opens a world of opportunities on second and two. After the good pickup on first down, let's see if they keep it on the ground. Dropping back, it's Agbana. Got his man on the outside. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. Here on third down. Reads it, fires complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. He threw that one with some serious heat. This senior quarterback doesn't need a lot of space to get it in there. Pulls and throws off the RPO. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. Now on second down and short. Trying play action. Finds his big tight end. He steps out of bounds, but he's got enough for a first down. And the Bulls have their offense in high gear. Out of the gun, the running back has it. Open space at the 25. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. They'll ride the hot hand. They get him on the ground, and with that, we'll head to the second quarter. Guys, we've reached the end of the quarter, and Buffalo is on top. We put one in the books. Let's have a look at our game summary.
They are lined up and ready to go and get things started here in the second. It'll be second down, and remember, they can pick up a first without scoring. Throws to the back. And to the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo! This offense is really dangerous because of the weapons they have on the perimeter of the field. And you're seeing they go to these guys early, and they try to give them opportunities in one-on-one -on -one situations and vertically down the field. Two passing touchdowns now early for this offense. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? A pair of top 15 teams throwing haymakers today. Let's show you the very latest. Ohio State is just getting blown off the field right now in Columbus. And at this rate, I'm not sure it won't get worse. They're trailing by 14 to Nebraska. Looking for space, it's Hunt. Just another week of college football where we've come to expect the unexpected, fellas. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. On target. Brings him down at the 48. It's a gain of 15 and a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. From the gun, running back on the move. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. Win with the running game on first down, now back at it. He'll do it himself. And a decent game there before the defense makes the stop. This feels like four down territory, third and short from the 40. He'll put the tight end in motion. He'll keep it himself. He gets it to the 38-yard line, and they'll pick up a fresh set of downs. The Bobcats with the first and 10. Wide receiver shows motion. Trying to get the edge with a quick touch pass. The defense wouldn't let him loose there, and it was a completion, but they lost yardage. Last play was a near disaster, now dealing with second and 13. Some belief in that running game as they pick up five to the 35-yard line. Now facing a third and long. To the air. It's Navarro. Trying to... And here's a fumble way behind the line. Well, the offense looks as if they fell on the fumble, and they'll keep the ball. Great job by the defense forcing the fumble, but a bad, unfortunate bounce, and the offense pounces back on it. They'll try to get something out of this drive and kick the field goal here on fourth down. This is going to have to be unleashed from 54 yards out. Absolutely perfect. And he knocks another one through. And how about this kick? A good way to start off your season, right? Like, what do you have at the spot? Sometimes you don't know. Can he make those kicks? Starting off, hasn't missed one yet. Been very dependable for this squad. After putting up a three spot, the kickoff unit set to go. Let's see what he can do with the return. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Buffalo has it back. Let's see what the Bulls offense can do. Makes the grab. It's Jenkins. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. That last completion sets him up on second down. He's looking to throw. Slips a tackle. And this looks disastrous. Oh, down he goes. A huge loss on that play. One of the things I love about this defense is they're so versatile in ways they can get after their quarterback. In their last game, they came away with five sacks, came from all over the place. They got the win. So you know in this one, they're going to dial up a lot of different looks. It's going to be tough for this offense to try to keep their quarterback standing up straight. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. 
Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. Feeling some heat. And the pressure gets to him again. Another sack. And that's a great job by the defense not letting that bird out of the cage. When you can run like this guy can, you've got to keep the edge. Did a great job. He went backwards, retreated, gave up some ground. They didn't give up the outside. Got the sack on the play. The Bulls will send out the punt unit. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. Sends his first one of the day on its way, and that matches the number of appearances he had in that win last week. And the coverage team gets the returner on the ground. Ohio U ready to go back to work on offense. You want to talk about having a weapon to bail out a drive? David, that's why kickers are so important after that long field goal. And listen, important is a relative term. We need to make longer passes and get better gains so we don't have to kick long field goals, Palmer, again on offense. And they've got the weapons to do that, David. They just got to be able to dial those plays up. Guys have to be able to make them one-on-one -on -one to make life easier on this kicker, who is so important to this team. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Got it set up on the outside. Defense was not fooled by that screen to the back, and they'll stop him short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. And this kicker is turning into old reliable. He's already knocked through a couple today. And the try is no good. Boy, they could have used that field goal to draw a little closer, but still an eight-point game. And that hurts missing that field goal, especially when you're going up against a defense like this. One of the best in the entire country. You have got to be able to come away with points when you have opportunities. The Buffalo offense headed back to the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here, Palmer. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. And the Bulls moving quickly to the line. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. That run epitomizes a veteran, savvy senior who knows how to find space. They're going to ride this running back. They knock him down right there. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. They go to the ground. That'll be a gain of about seven, leaves him with third and three. Trying to pick up a first down. Looking for a man, it's Agbana. They're trying to get to him. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. Here comes the field goal unit as they'll try to take the three. Smashes it between the uprights. And now the lead is even bigger. How great is it to know that if you can get the ball down somewhere close to the 40-yard line on your opponent's side of the field, you're walking away with at least three points because this dude is automatic. So after the last drive ended with a field goal, the kickoff team out there to send it away. Caught inside the 20, chance for a good return. They get him corralled, but not before he gets that return out to the 35. The Ohio U offense returns to the field. They've had a couple of productive drives, but they've had to settle for field goals in two of their three previous possessions, Jesse. Yeah, this is an offense that takes a lot of pride in execution, and they feel like they should have scored a touchdown every single drive. So while it's been good, not great, David, just execute a little bit better, and they can put this one in the end zone this time. Yeah, and I think you point that out. We went all the way down the field on two of our first three drives and got field goals. Now, just a little better execution when, you, when that field starts to strength and he gets a little bit more difficult. They've got it at the 37. It's first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. 
coming after him. Across the 25, he's got room. Good run on the play, and he slides to avoid the hit. And the Bobcats have it with a first and 10. Looking to pass inside the red zone. They're setting up the screen. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Second down coming up. Dropping back, it's Navarro. He caught it. They didn't get a ton of yardage there, but they're really effective at using the back out of the backfield, and they do it to get the first down here. Movement here from the tight end. Quarterback on the keeper. And he sprints to the end zone. Touchdown, Ohio! And that's a nice drive, a nice physicality, punching it in with the run game. And here's the thing. I like where this offense is going. Nice job creating some momentum, going into the half, cutting down the lead. This thing could get really exciting. Nice job answering the bell right before the half. Lining up for the PAT. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. So they got the touchdown now, going to put it in the hands of their defense to finish off this half. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Inside 30 seconds to play in the half, we'll see how aggressive they are on this drive. Here's the handoff. Now after that run, they're in pretty good shape at the 30-yard line. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, who's had a better seat there in Athens, Ohio for an entertaining first half than you? Here's a quick recap. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. And with that, let's send it back to our men at Peden Stadium. The Bulls will kick it away to crank up the second half. He'll bring it out. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Ohio takes over the Bobcat offense, heads to the field. They start this third quarter, one possession game, and hoping to get an early drive going. This offense is ready, and they're ready to take the field here and see if they can get something established. They don't have to change everything and reinvent the wheel. They've had some successes in the first half, so let's get that continued here on the opening drive. Yeah, and I love getting that break at half to go talk with my coaches and pick my offensive coordinator's brain so I know exactly what I need to do to attack this defense, and I get ball first. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. It's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. To the air, it's Navarro. Throws to the wideout. Soft spot in the middle. And he's brought down after a nice game. The Bobcats look to keep this drive humming. From the gun, the running back looking for room. And a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays. But sometimes you're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well. But if you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it. And now it's just going to be a passing game. They have work in front of them on third and short from the 42. Trying to escape and get it himself. And he scoots his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. They'll run this play from the pistol. He'll pull it on the read. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Hit a little speed bump on this drive. It's second and 12. He's looking to throw. 
grabbed over the middle. It's McCormick. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Get it out on the screen. They play that screen nicely. He tried to find his way to the marker, but it'll be fourth down. They'll send out the kicker to try to salvage this drive. Good, right down the boulevard. So the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. From inside his own 15, looking for room. And he'll be brought down after a solid effort on that return. Buffalo has it back. Let's see what the Bulls offense can do. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Firing to the right, complete. And that defense is there to guide him out of bounds after a short game. After that last completion, it's second down. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Touch pass on the jet sweep. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. Third and short from the 44, and we might know if they plan to go for it on fourth down by what they call here. They'll try to get the first through the air. Moves around to clear up the vision. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. And the Bulls come to the line with a new set of downs. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. Off the play fake. Quarterback extends the play. At the 40, there he goes. And a nice pickup on the line and gets down to avoid contact. Leaves it with the running back. They're trying to send a message with this running game. He stopped after a pickup of four to the 33. To the ground with the back. Finds a crease at the 20. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. What a run. Great speed, great vision, elusiveness, and David, he's tackled down close to the goal line. Yeah, and this offense, when you can run the football like this, man, you will have success, especially in the red zone, trying to get touchdowns. The Bulls line it up with a first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he'll step into the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo! And this running back is so dangerous down close to the end zone. He's got wiggle, he's got great vision and burst, and he showed all of those attributes right there. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. A tantalizing top 15 showdown today, and we've got an update. Ohio State is getting handled right now at home. Someone needs to step in here and throw in the towel. Stop this fight. They're trailing by 28 to Nebraska. Any big developments in this one, we've got you covered with the best studio team in the business. Gentlemen? Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. An explosive way to start the drive, and they'll try to keep the D on its heels. Handoff to the lone back. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. He tried to pound it on first down. Now back to the line. Back to throw. It's Navarro. They're bringing heat. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. We've seen this defensive end make a lot of plays. In the run game, he's setting the edge. He's forcing the football to go back inside, but he's not a one-trick pony. He can also get out of his stance, use his hands, and use his speed to beat offensive tackles and get to the QB. 
Ball is at the 41 as this defense tries to force the punt on third and long. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. They've got the screen set up. Defense was not fooled by that screen to the back, and they'll stop him short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. And the Bobcats send out the punt unit. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. Excellent coverage that time. Didn't give him any room to set up a big return. The Buffalo offense headed back to the field. Got the quick completion. Still running at the 40. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. That was a really nice catch and an even better run after the grab. Yeah, and get the ball to your playmaker. What's good about having him in the slot is he can go either direction. You can get him matched up on somebody that's not as fast. And you watch, he can run away from those linebackers or safeties. And the Bulls are in the hurry up. They'll leave it with him. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one as they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. Keep it on the ground. There to make the stop, and we've played three in this one. Guys, we've reached the end of the quarter, and Buffalo is on top. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. Got his man out of the backfield. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. Now he's going to glide away from pressure. On the move at the 30. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. The Bulls come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Hey, listen, it's important at that position to be able to be good off schedule. Everything's easy when it's on time. You can get the ball out. But when things break down and they get off schedule, you've got to have a guy back there that can make the right decisions. He did exactly that. Gets it to the back. And oh, did they know that one was coming. They'll knock him down in the backfield. After losing a couple of yards, it's now second and 12 as they try to keep this drive moving. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. They make the stop of the 19 after a pickup of five. A third and long coming up here. To the air, it's Agbana. Now improvising. Fights off a defender. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. And this defense has to step forward. Not only do they have to get a stop, they've got to do it quickly to keep that time from running down. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. Looking for the end zone on second and goal. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Buffalo. They extend this lead, and it looks as if they are going to make it two wins in a row. The offense flexes its muscle a bit and widens the gap. Take a little exhale. You know, you, you did your job. You got points. Now you put your defense in a position where, hey, go out and get another stop. We're in great shape. So the offense definitely taking care of their business. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point splits the uprights, and the lead balloons to 15. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Buffalo, 31, Ohio. 16. From inside his own 15, trying to follow his blockers. Maybe if he could have eluded just one or two more guys, it would have been a big return, but they'll mark it at 30.
They'll throw it on first down. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. On second down, he'll fire. Shoots it to the left. He got a hand in there, knocks it away incomplete. Now this offense facing a third and long from their own 30. Wants to throw, it's Navarro. Pocket starts to collapse. And the pass rush is effective and they tackle him at the 19. Well, this is a quarterback who's not known for his running ability, obviously. We've seen him make some great throws, but mobility, probably not on your bingo card. And you saw it right there. He gets brought down for the sack. The Bobcats line up to punt it away. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. Looking for a block. It's Birch. This guy is a daring punt return man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return gets a little bit of ground for the offense. Looking to go up top on first down. Just a short pass to the tight end. He's brought down solid. Pick up but a little bit short of the first down. Second down coming up. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. Takes the easy throw in the flat. Knocked down after a short game, but enough to move those chains. They've got it at the 36 on first and 10. That's a first down for the offense. He's going to pass. With the catch, it's Jenkins. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. Fresh set of downs after the completion. And that's good enough. He wants to throw. Fires on the move. He makes a grab. Touchdown, Bulls. And the beatdown has ensued. They push out that lead a bit and draw much closer to a win here in Week 9. Have a day, young fella. I foresee some social media posts in his future. Not one, not two, but three receiving touchdowns on the day. What a ball game. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finish things off with a 21-yard touchdown pass. Hauls it in inside his 20, and here he comes. Gets it all the way out to the 30-20 before he stops. Ohio, you're ready to go back to work on offense. Last time, David, it was one, two, three, kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot, and you got to get a drive together here. And the defense gets to the quarterback. And there's no mystery as to why this team's losing today. They've given up five sacks. They cannot keep their quarterback upright, and you just saw another example of it right there. He has never been able to get into rhythm throwing the football. Didn't make it any easier on themselves on first down. Now second along from the 21. Looking to throw, it's Navarro. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. It'll take some work to get to the sticks. It's third and long from the 30. Still in the pocket and fires over the middle. And the ball is caught. He's inside the 35. He got loose, almost passed it, finally dragged down at the 32. And the Bobcats have it with a first and 10. He's looking to throw it. He's not afraid to go deep. And that one is picked up in the end zone. And as a defensive lineman late in the game, man, when you know it's passed, you're pinning your ears back, trying to get to the quarterback, and DBs are trying to do this. Pad them stats, get the INT. Nice job by this D.
Buffalo has it back. Let's see what the Bulls' offense can do. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out and execute, David. Yeah, and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. you got a big lead. Let's just keep piling it on until they find an answer. You got to be impressed by how you've seen this offense finish in this football game. They've been scoring points in the fourth quarter, just got a touchdown on their last drive, and there they rip off a big run. They are not letting off the gas pedal right now, and as a coach, you'd love to see that. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They'll keep it on the ground, trying to milk the clock. And he is swarmed under a host of defenders there to make the stop. They plow ahead with the run, but still more ground needed to pick up the first down. Third down coming. Looking downfield, it's Agbana. Extending the play. Shakes off the defender. And he scoots his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Got three on first down at second and seven. They move the tight end all over. They'll run it out of the shotgun. And he has a solid game before the defense bottles him up. They're looking at a third down and short from the 33. To the ground to try to move the chains. Really nice job to convert that third down, and they've got it at the 33. With the clock running, this should be the final play. Winning can become a habit. Now they've won back-to-back -back games and probably building a little confidence in the team. Yeah, and you want it to be a habit. That's what you talk about as a coach week after week. Let's build. Let's create momentum and continue to build on it. Continue, And then you look up at the end of the season, you never know where you could be, what dreams you could bring to reality. At the end of the day, I think good teams find ways to win games. And over these last two games, it hasn't always been easy. They've had to overcome some adversity. But at the end of the day, they were able to step up, make the plays necessary, and do that. Very, very impressive. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis. And this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.